Hi, I'm going to wade in on this Serena, Miss Serena Williams being denied access into the Peninsula rooftop in Paris. Now, as a frequent traveler, I just feel that these stories are just getting crazy. You know, one week it's one thing or the other. I have some questions. Okay, now, I'm not for or saying she was right or she was wrong, but her message along to me is just a little bit cryptic. I mean, she says here, yikes, tags them. I've been denied access to rooftop to eat in an empty restaurant of nicer places. Shade. But never with my kids. Always a first hashtag Olympic 2024. Now, again, I think that message in itself is just cryptic. We cannot go and, yes, she's calling out a restaurant, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I want to support and, you know, being of a woman of, of colour, I've got two things here. The first thing is because she's a celebrity and, of course, she has been treated a different way than what she would normally receive in America. And I know celebrity American culture is very celebrity incentivized, so they would have pulled out an extra table to give her and maybe these are some of the things that Serena does not see behind the scenes happening for her and therefore thinks that it's things just you know that just come naturally whereas she, there is other things to look at look you know the peninsula probably have a capacity rating of maybe they can only have 35 people on their rooftop so even if they wanted to pull an extra table for her and her kids to come you know they would not they would have been in breach of their capacity levels another thing is if they've maybe another party that's booked because her saying it's an empty restaurant we all know how restaurants work listen i travel with women as a group we can book a table for eight o'clock but if you come into a restaurant at 7 30 it may not have those seats are going to be empty but I'm coming in with 27 women. That's going to fill that space up. So that's why I'm like, I don't know how to make this message because she must know this of all people that look, if a restaurant has just because it's empty does not mean that they don't have customers coming in. It does not mean that it's not going to be full. And it does not mean that they have no other plans or events. Maybe they've got an event the next day and somebody's going to come and decorate. I don't know. Her message is a little bit cryptic. OK, so and then first time with the kids again, when I think back of my travels to Paris and, you know, you'll see that if you look, I've got my little Paris statue there at the back there. Um, it's one of my favorite cities um, for different reasons. You know, we all have our reasons, but rooftop bars with children for me. It's not a preferred place that I would like to be. Again, I will say we don't know the context of how she was denied, whether she was just looked looked at and go or whether she had spoken to somebody and they had a conversation and they explained this. Her message is not very clear. However, we have different people bringing up and saying she's trying to use a celebrity status. Some people are saying, oh, because she's a black woman. Now, I'm going to be in between here. I will say. What I will say regarding the color of her skin is that predominantly when we travel around Europe or externally, there has been issues and I will not say major issues. There is that understanding that um, in Europe, perhaps people of color are not perceived in the same way as they are in the United States in relation to celebrity status. That said, in the moment that she was writing that, maybe that previous trauma of being denied access to spaces or places because of the colour of her skin is what came to the forefront. However, was not expressed directly in this message that she put on here. So she could be dealing with that sort of trauma because I can see the comments on, you know, social platforms and, you know, whatever's attacking. Oh, you know, you know, Paris has always been racist. This, that, the other. I'm not going to wade into the race drama right now, but I will say this may have been the other thing that prompted her to think that this is why she's not been given access to the restaurant. The truth of the matter is, you know, I we, we all don't know what the conversation was, um, but the truth of the matter is, yeah, if I had booked my table 
and then it's been cancelled because somebody else has been given it and I have booked maybe six weeks in advance. Maybe it's a special treat that I've been working for. I would be very, very, very disappointed. Um, the hotel, you know, has has customers and will continue to have customers after Miss Williams has gone. And her calling them out has actually made, I feel like, has even made other people who were not thinking of visiting that hotel visit it because... If I've got a booking and it's cancelled, I'll be upset. I'm sorry, Miss Williams. On this one, I, it's really, your message is cryptic. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go to the hotel. If I have booked a restaurant, no matter my stature, and I've booked my slot, and I'm coming for my dinner, I want to have my dinner. Or I want to enjoy my rooftop because you could be my one in a lifetime last thing. I could have been diagnosed with a terminal illness and I am saying this is my one last hurrah and um, you know I've saved up my money to go there and what that chance has been taken away because somebody didn't book or maybe I don't know I don't know I, I'm trying to be very fair on this like I said she may not have known you know or she's not used to this word no um, but a booking is a booking and you know and listen other hand it's peninsula they did respond to her you know and uh they they gave they gave a very nice response i don't know whether it's a standard response but i'll leave it up here for y'all to you know um, to read it and you know they say they, they apologize they said um dear mrs williams now now the, the, the peninsula you know she's not mrs williams you know she's not married to herself so mm, whoever wrote that clearly doesn't know right anyway we can't forgive you for that one they say please accept our deepest apologies for the disappointment you encountered tonight again we're going back to it's a rooftop bar do we really want to be with our kids at night because you know we all know how rooftop bars are anyway Let's say, let's carry on. She said, the hotel's Twitter account wrote in response to her on Monday to say that at the time, the only available seating was the establishment's sister restaurant, which is the Le Osu. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Unfortunately, our rooftop bar was indeed fully booked and the only unoccupied tables you saw belonged to our gourmet restaurant, Le Osu Blanc, which was fully reserved. Okay, so... I, like I said, I'm just waiting in. Your comments are appreciated. Whether you think I'm speaking off turn or whether you think my, you know, review of this is, you know, is, is correct. I just think it's just a situation that's just kind of happened. And it is Paris. It is the Olympics. They are busy. They have a lot of high profile thing, people. And if you don't have a reservation, sadly, these things will happen. It what can happen to you or well, it has happened to you, Miss. Miss Williams, it can happen to me. Unless we don't know the background and what actually happened and what was there. But I'm going to have to say on this one, I love you, Miss Williams. But I don't know. It's it's not clear. I don't know whether they, they deserve that, to be honest. Uh, a booking is a booking. Let me know. But thanks for watching.